Mr. Becerra, are you familiar with an Israeli study that had uh, 2.5 million patients and found that the vaccinated group was actually seven times more likely to get infected with COVID than the people who had gotten COVID naturally? Senator, I'd have to get back to you on that one. I'm not familiar with that well, study. Well, you think you might want to be if you're going to travel the country insulting the uh, millions of Americans, including NBA star Jonathan Isaac, who have had COVID, recovered, look at a study with 2.5 million people and say, well, you know what? It looks like my immunity is as good as a vaccine or not. And in a free country, maybe I ought to be able to make that decision. Instead, you've chosen to travel the country calling people like Jonathan Isaac and others, myself included, flat earthers. We find that very insulting, goes against the science. Are you a doctor or a medical doctor? I've worked uh, over 30 um, years on health so policy. You're, you're not a medical doctor. Do you have a science degree? And yet you travel the country calling people flat earthers who have had COVID, looked at studies of millions of people, and made their own personal decision that their immunity they naturally acquired is sufficient. But you presume somehow to tell over 100 million Americans who have survived COVID that we have no right to determine our own medical care. You alone are on high and you've made these decisions, a lawyer with no scientific background, no medical degree. This is an arrogance coupled with an authoritarianism that is unseemly and un-American. You, sir, are the one ignoring the science. The vast preponderance of scientific studies, dozens and dozens show robust long-lasting immunity after COVID infection. Even the CDC does not recommend measles vaccine if you have measles immunity. The same was true for smallpox. But you ignore history and science to shame the flat earthers, as you call them. You should be ashamed of yourself and apologize to the American people for being dishonest about naturally acquired immunity. You want more people to choose vaccination? So do I. You want to lessen vaccine hesitancy? So do I. You want to have that happen? Quit lying to people about naturally acquired immunity. Quit lording it over people, acting as if these people are deplorable and unwashed. Try persuasion instead of government cudgels. Try humility instead of arrogance. Try freedom instead of coercion. But most of all, try understanding that there's no more basic medical right than deciding what we inject into our bodies. Today, after hearing that millions of people in a study prove, show without a doubt that there's a great deal of immunity from getting it naturally, do you want to apologize to the 100 million Americans who suffered through COVID, survived, have immunity, and yet you want to hold them down and vaccinate them? Do you want to apologize for calling those people flat earthers? Senator, I appreciate your question and appreciate that everyone has their opinion. Uh, we follow the facts and the science at HHS. We use the expertise of the medical professionals, the scientists at uh, HHS to make decisions. Uh, it's a team effort, and we rely on what is on the ground showing us results. Except for the dozens and dozens of studies. In fact, most, if not all, of the studies show robust immunity from getting the disease naturally. The CDC says if you've had measles and have immunity, you don't have to be vaccinated. The same was true of smallpox. You're selectively doing this because you want us to submit to your will. You have no scientific background, no scientific degrees, and yet you aren't really concerned about 100 million Americans who had the disease. You just want to tell us, do as you're told. That's what you're telling us. You want to mandate this on all of us. You're going to tell us if I have 100 employees, you're going to put me out of business with a $700,000 fine if I don't obey what you think is a science. Don't you understand that it's presumptuous for you to be in charge of all the science? Have you ever heard of a second opinion? I can't go to my doctor and ask my doctor's opinion. I mean, this is, is, is incredibly arrogant combined with this authoritarian nature that you think, well, we'll just tell all of America to do what I say and they better or we'll find them or put them in jail or not let them go to school or not let them travel. The science is against you on this. The science is clear. Naturally acquired immunity is as good as a vaccine. The Israel study actually showing it better. This isn't an argument against the vaccine, but it's an argument for letting people make a decision who already have immunity. You're not willing to consider natural immunity? Senator, our team has reviewed every study that's out there on COVID, whether it's from Israel, from the U.S., or wherever else, 
They have used the facts that have been provided through the uh, rigorous research that's been done to reach a conclusion. 660 odd thousand Americans and more have died because of COVID. We're trying to do everything we can to save as many as possible. We're using the facts. We're following the science and following the law. Nobody's arguing the severity of this, but you are completely ignoring the science on natural immunity. So is Fauci. So is the whole group. You're just ignoring it because you want submission. You want everybody just to submit to your will, do as you're told, despite the evidence, the large body of scientific evidence that says naturally acquired immunity does work, is an important part of how we're all going to recover from this. So is the vaccine. But when you add them together, we're at a much different place than if you ignore them. 100 million Americans, by conservative CDC estimates, have had the disease. 200 million or more now have been vaccinated. It's a good thing. Combined together, it's how the disease is. Nobody wants to get the disease. We're not advising anybody to get the disease. But if you're unlucky enough to get it, think of the nurses and doctors and orderlies who all bravely took care of COVID patients. There was no vaccine for a year and a half. They took care of people, risked their lives. They got it, survived. And now people like you are arrogant enough to say, you can no longer work in the hospital because you've already had the disease. We're going to force you to take a vaccine that the science does not prove is better than naturally acquired. That's an arrogance that should be chastened. Joining me now, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator, I had so many friends send me that exchange, uh, texted it to me uh, last night. Uh, it is stunning. The bureaucracy, uninformed, ignorant, certainly no medical background. Uh, what's going to happen here? Now, Dianne Feinstein has introduced legislation to stop the unvaccinated, prevent them from traveling domestically. On an airplane. You know, the truth, the, the truth is actually the opposite. For those of us who have had the disease and survived, we're more at risk in being around only vaccinated people. So these people are hysterical about the unvaccinated. It's actually the opposite of the truth. The riskiest people to catch it from are people who are vaccinated versus people who have had the disease. Now, there are some people who are unvaccinated who haven't had the disease, and I do recommend that they voluntarily get the vaccine. But the thing is, is Think of all the doctors, think of all the lawyers, the orderlies in the hospital who worked for a year and a half to save lives without any vaccine at all. They got COVID, they survived, they now have immunity, and the hospitals are just saying, you're you worthless, you know, we're getting rid of you unless you submit to a vaccine. But it doesn't go with the science. The science actually shows greater immunity if you've had the disease than if you've just simply been vaccinated. Well, the court is ultimately going to have to settle this one. They're just not going to change their view on that. But getting back to my point about this radical legislation seeking to isolate and punish unvaccinated Americans to prevent them from flying domestically. Dianne Feinstein, when we haven't seen her much uh, lately, but she apparently introduced legislation to do just that. Your reaction, Senator? The ever-present Dr. Fauci agrees with her. He wants to ban people from flying as well, unless they're vaccinated. It totally goes against the science. It's ignoring the 100 million people that already have immunity who got it naturally. It's a terrible idea. It goes against sort of the very basic idea of a free society. I said yesterday, one of the most in incredible or primary medical rights we have is to decide what goes into our body, what kind of injections we get, which doctor we go to, whether we have surgery or we don't have surgery. And so everything they're doing is against the science, but also against really the foundation of what our of the freedom that, that our country was founded upon. Senator Paul, uh, incredible exchange with Basara yesterday. Thanks for joining us.